Right, let's get some reaction to the managerial change in the Premier League. Jesse Marsh has been sat by Leeds after just under a year in charge. And former Leeds defender Danny Mills joins us now. Good afternoon to you, Danny, though. First up then, um, did you see it coming? I didn't, if I'm honest, Vicky, uh, simply because the, the manager was heavily backed in the summer, uh, in, the, in the summer transfer window. He's been backed again in this transfer window with many signings that he knows well. Um, that I have a, a personal connection to in, in some way. He's brought in a backroom staff member as well during this transfer window. So, yeah, really surprised. I guess the only caveat to that would be that <clears throat> when you see what's happened at other football clubs, and especially this weekend, Wolves with their victory, Everton replacing Frank Lampard and Sean Dyche going in and getting a victory over Arsenal, Two games back-to-back -back now against Manchester United. The Leeds United hierarchy must be thinking, well, if we lose those both of those games, and there's every possibility um, of that because Manchester United in very, very good form. If you lose those two games, you're right in it. And, and how do you address that slide? And I think the game after that, in fact, actually is, is Everton as well. So, so three really difficult, important games for Leeds. Uh, but no, I, I didn't see it coming. A little bit surprised because the club seems to have backed him up, up till now. I agree with you in terms of that, in terms of the signings coming in and the backroom staff, as you mentioned. Do you feel it's the right decision then? Do you feel it's a little bit of a knee-jerk reaction in terms of what you're seeing going on around you? I think there is a, a touch of, you know, pressing the panic button mm. uh, simply because they don't have somebody lined up. You know, this, this is not when, uh, you know, Tottenham sacked, uh, was it Pochettino? Mourinho was in within about 15 seconds um, of, of that signing. There was a clear plan and a clear thought in that. Whether, whether the sacking is right or wrong is immaterial. They had a plan and they knew what they wanted to do. This is clearly not the case. They're not going to have a new manager um, appointed before they play Manchester United um, on Wednesday. Who's going to take the team? I have absolutely no idea, you know, at this stage. It's a massive game. You know, the rivalry between those two clubs is, is very, very fierce. It's spiteful. It's vicious at times. Manchester United in great form. Leeds not. Can Leeds do what Everton did um, to Arsenal? You would say unlikely, um, but who knows? But yeah, I'm I just not quite sure the direction of Leeds uh, at the moment and, and where they're going to go next. In terms of Jesse, I mean, he was kind of accused of being a little bit emotional. Do you think people confused passion with emotion? Because you couldn't have doubted his passion, could you? Passion's fine in sport. Emotion actually doesn't work. Um, if you look at all the top sportsmen, sportswomen around the world, most of them are emotionless. You know, that, and you have to have that divide between passion and emotion. And I, I think of late as well, some of his press conferences, some of the things that he's been saying, even this weekend after the defeat, you know, it, it's all on me. Uh, before that, he was talking about he didn't like stress and, and he didn't like being judged um, on results. Very, very strange comments. And even after the, the defeat this weekend, so we're not in a relegation battle. I mean, if I'm the hierarchy, I'm looking at that and thinking, well, you are in a relegation battle. There's less than half the seasons ago. You haven't, I think you've won one game in nine. It's not one since uh, 5th of November or something round about that. You are in it. You know, you are up that creek and, and there is no paddle at the moment. So you need to start changing things around. So I just think a culmination of all those types of things leads to panics a little bit. Um, and obviously now they're, they're looking for a new manager. They certainly are. Um, it was the away points, you know, just five of them all season. Of course, they did get that famous win at Anfield, though, but do you felt, feel that was the downfall? I, I just think <laughs> results in, in general. If you're whatever club you're at, you know, in, in the Premier League, if, you're, if you lose eight out of nine games or, you, you know, you, haven't, you only win one in ten, you're under pressure. We all know how, how the Premier League works. If you don't win for three games, you start to come under real pressure. Uh, and I just think, again, I just said, because Wolves won at the weekend, uh, Nottingham Forest have obviously had a, an upturn in their performances as well after making signings. Everton winning um, as well. But also, you, you have to look at it. Everton were in a very, very similar position, obviously, to, to Leeds last season. Uh, Frank Lampard came in and, and kept them up. But they didn't strengthen at all. In fact, they weakened their squad. You know, they lost their best player in Richarlison over the course of the summer. Leeds stayed up by the skin of their teeth and they strengthened. And then they strengthened again in January. So it's, this is not like the Everton situation where Frank didn't maybe have the tools 
to enhance that squad and you know and try and make them better in that way. Jesse Marsh has had lots of money. Um, he's had lots of players brought in, um, most of them of his of his own choosing, and it simply hasn't worked. And I think again, you throw all that in together, some of the antics on the sidelines that even the home fans didn't like uh, at times. I think they've they have panicked a little bit. Um, but you have to say it, it looks like it probably is the best decision all round. The worrying thing is that you mentioned the fact they have spent, and just recently they, they broke their record, didn't they? They brought in Jorginho Rutter, you mentioned, Weston McKenney. What does it say to those players? It doesn't feel like it's very joined up. What, what, that, what might they be thinking at the moment? And, and this is why I think it's a, you know, it is a, a little bit of panic, uh, you know, hitting that button maybe a little bit too early. Again, they, they are good players. And, and as a player, you have to learn to adapt. You, you know, you always know that the manager is is three or four games away from, from getting the sack. The new the new man, whoever that is going to be coming in, has a good squad of players to work with. You know, they're, they're better than the, the squad at the moment is better than where they are in the table. But can he produce that? As there's two massive games away to Manchester United on Wednesday. Who's going to take that team? No idea. And then at home to, to Manchester United, and then another game to Everton and Southampton after that. That's four games that are absolutely huge. If you were to lose all four games, you're going to be in the bottom three, um, you know, without doubt. And they still not might have a manager in place by then. So it's it's going to be a very, very turbulent ride the, the next few weeks for Leeds. Before we talk about who you think should or might replace him, you know, how tough was it for Jesse Marsh coming in? And I, and I have to say this, you know, sometimes an American manager, we've only had a couple in the Premier League, they get quite a tough time when they come here. Um, and, and was it really tough, you know, following such a legend for Leeds as, as, such as Bielsa? It's only tough, Vicky, if you're not very good at your job. You know, as simple as that. Um, you know, if, if you went to America and did a good job, you'd be absolutely fine. No one would... Well, people wouldn't mind if you were French, you were English, you were Australian. It really wouldn't make any difference. If you're not very good at your job, then it's just, you know, it's another stick to be beaten with. You know, it's simple as that. Unfortunately, it just hasn't worked out for him. Uh, you know, he hasn't been able to do what he said he was going to do. And yeah, of course, you know, there, there are sort of some of the Americanisms um, that the media have jumped on the back of, you know, from time to time. But I don't think he's helped himself in all that, you know, two or three weeks ago when he said, you know, I don't like being in a job where, you know, it's all about results. Well, I think you're in the wrong job um, being a football manager because that's all it's about, nothing else, simple as that. And again, after the game yesterday, to say we're not in a relegation battle, naive, you know, at very, very best. Um, you know, you have to understand the position that you're in and how vital it is. And maybe, I don't know, maybe he just didn't seem to quite get that or he was trying to deflect. But it didn't look well. Um, although, you know, results were bad and haven't been good. And also the, the optics and the, and the way that he's conducted himself in, in recent weeks hasn't been great either. 17 games left. Um, would you go for an interim boss and reassess in the summer or would you go for long term now? I think you've got to try and stay in the league. You know, it's simple as that. You've got to bring somebody in to to try and keep you up and, and believe that they're going to get... And if they keep you up, then maybe you give them a chance, you know, at the start of next season. But who is that person? You know, who is out there that, that's going to take that job? I think it's difficult. Leeds is still going to be an attractive club. There are some good signings in there. Maybe not to everybody's liking uh, in terms of, you know, a new manager because they are quite personal signings from, from Jesse Marsh, but there's still some good players in there. I think it's going to be very, very interesting, obviously, Carlos Corbran, um, who was at the club previously, you know, under Marcelo Bielsa, has, has been talked about, doing a very, very good job at, at West Brom at the moment. He might be thinking, well, maybe trying to get promotion um, and take West Brom in, you know, up is, is a better than, than trying to save Leeds. Right now, maybe he might want to wait till the end of the season. And that might be the case for a lot of managers. They might have a look at it and go, mm, yeah, not right now, especially with the two Man United games coming up and, and then Everton and, and Southampton. Southampton rumours that they might appoint a new manager, um, you know, sooner rather than later as well. So you, they might get, you know, that, that bounce effect. So I, I think it's going to be very, very difficult. But it just goes to show it doesn't look like there was a clear plan once the club sacks Jesse Marsh of, of who is coming in next. Yeah, I hear you. Um, just finally then, um, do you think there might be a tinge of regret in terms of, of getting rid of Bielsa 
this time last year, wasn't it? I mean, we heard from Tim Sherwood earlier. He said Bielsa would be the fan's choice to replace Jesse Marsh. Would he be the man for you? Uh, Bielsa was incredible, um, what he did for Leeds United, getting them out of the, the lower leagues and, and back into the Premier League. Um, you have to remember the first season, they, they blew up after, uh, after sort of Easter period. Um, and obviously, we're outdone by Frank Lampard's uh, derby, you know, in, in the first playoffs. Second time around, you know, understanding the system and everything else were, were better and, and got promoted, um, you know, quite comfortably in the end and, and had a f magnificent first season in the Premier League. But the second season was difficult for them. I think when you're, you're down the wrong end of the table for, for two reasons, because you can't score enough goals and you're conceding too many goals. So you have to address one of those situations. Marcelo Bielsa coming in, his football is, is frantic. It's end-to-end. -end, it's high tempo and, it, and it's crazy at times. Does he address the situation immediately of conceding goals? No, because we saw them on, some, on the end of some very, very heavy defeats you know, at times in his last tenure. Are they going to score loads more goals, which means they're going to win that many more games? I'm not convinced of that either. Uh, so I, although Bielsa, you know, would always be godlike um, at Leeds and at Ellen Road, I don't think it would be the right appointment right now, just as maybe Everton thought it wasn't the right appointment for them. All right, Danny, always good to talk to you. Thanks for joining us.